Yes? might still be here. Wounds made by a blade. No monster did this. Soldiers from your escort? Yes. That's them. Vern, Miklas, oh, poor boys. Beast doesn't play around, apparently. They saved my life. Know them well. Him, I met this morning. But Vern and I served together at the Battle of Dorian. Miklas only enlisted this Yule. Sorry. Once you kill this beast, we'll have to send someone down here to collect their bodies. Give them a proper burial. What exactly happened? We came in here and Miklas started looking for tracks. Then drowners attacked. The men made quick work of them. But Franz was injured. His leg. He and I stayed behind. I tried to bandage him up while Nalls stood watch. Then that beast appeared. Nalls pushed me towards the exit and ran at the monster. I turned around and saw him lying there, covered in a sticky substance. I ran back to get him, then dragged him to where you found us. Where was the monster? Miklas and Byrne had driven it away from us. And paid dearly for it. Managed to get a look at what attacked you? Everything happened so fast. I didn't get a good look, no. Only saw it from behind. I know it was large and slimy. Gotta look around. 
Man you patched up. Is he here? Franz? I don't see him. Think the monster might have dragged him off? Could have. Hmm. He's probably crawled in or out through here. It's deep. Lower level of the sewers has been closed off for years. But Vern, the commander, had a skeleton key. See if I can't find it. Johnny, watch out. Move! Gerald! Are you alright? I'm fine. I can't get down this way. I'll look for something else. Be careful. Are you all right? I'm fine. You? How'd you get in here? I told you. Vern had a key to the grate. Look. It's bronze. What's left of him, you mean? What kind of beast would do that? Does that mean anything? Well, means our monster doesn't attack them. Seems they get along with whatever's prowling the sewers. Some kind of symbiosis. Hmm. Interesting. What? Franz had a leg wound, right? Mm-hmm. Just above the knee. Managed to apply anything to it? Yes. Some spirit, but that was it. Why do you ask? 
Look, half of Franz's leg is gone. Monster must have chewed it off. Other bodies were untouched, except for the wounds they sustained in battle. Are you suggesting... the beast likes alcohol? Mm-hmm. Mixed with blood. Doubt we'll learn anything else here. We need to find the lair. Right behind you. Hmm. Odd smell. Blend of alcohol, blood, and monster stench. Must have come through here. Another unfortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse, found a hideous death instead. Watch out! Move! Johnny, watch out! Exhaustion trying to escape? Terrible way to go. <coughs> what do you want, Geralt? Shani, can you get your sample here? Sure, along with a bunch of dirt, rubble, and drowner droppings. I need a clean sample. From the lair, that'd be best. Monster left quiet this time. Soaked in slime. Beast must have left it for later. Loads of slime here. 
Enough for your sample? It'd be more than enough if it wasn't contaminated. Shani, can you get your sample here? Sure, along with a bunch of dirt, rubble, and drowner droppings. I need a clean sample. From the lair, that'd be best. Not Shani, watch out. Move! Get out. Futile effort. Another unfortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse, found a hideous death instead. everywhere. Strange. Seems the monster tolerated them. As long as they don't get too close, I guess. Decaying corpses, slime everywhere, and that stench. This has to be the lair. Fresh and moist. Beast was just here. I'll collect my sample. Huh. All the tunnels and corridors converge here. What now? Need to lure the beast. How? We don't even know what kind of monster it is. But we do know it likes a blend of blood and liquor. Just so happens I've got some alcohol on me. Well, I hope you don't plan to cut yourself or... Relax. Plenty of bodies. I'll use one of them. Sample you collected enough? Hope so. But I'd still like to get some pure venom. Once you've killed the monster. To distill an antidote? No use for it once the beast's dead. Not true. I have a few poison patients on hand. Besides, I can study the venom, test it, maybe discover some interesting properties. I'll get to work. Hmm. I doubt I'd be much help in the fight, but you might need me afterwards. I'll look for a hiding place. You'd be better off waiting for me up top, or back home. But- No buts. Wait in the passage for now if you have to, though I'd rather you didn't. But when the monster shows, you run for the surface. Ugh, fine. Shani, look at me. Promise you'll stay out of it. I promise. Good. Now go hide. Be careful, Geralt.
time to end this. Gadarash I'll woo. come to and he can speak human turns out he started thinking I'm not conversing common the whole way except maybe with my reflection in the piss bucket where where am I on the albatross or the fuck bath oil it's that strange tongue is it on route to a fear don't remember signing on as a sailor <laughs> oh you didn't mate they dragged you aboard seems you killed their prince Oh, toad in the sewers. Damn it. Should consider myself lucky, I guess. Could have killed me on the spot. Depends how you look at it. Happen to know a bit of a theory. Heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by their king to find their prince, lift his curse. Wagered their honor, and that of their families five generations back. But they'd bring him home, safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So, must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. And who might you be? Felipe Calagrand, at your service. Petty thing, professional fence. And your guide about Oxenford. Why are you here? You kill a prince too? Well, to their thinking, I had a hand in this one's death. See, I was their guide. Led them down into the sewers. But not until after you'd cut their prince's gut up. Sorry about that. Not your fault, mate. When all said and done, could have sat on my ass in the alchemy playing Gwen. Didn't have to brag about knowing Oxenford better than my own breeches. We been at sea long? To know, Riley. Not that long. Though, on the other hand. <laughs> but what's it matter, any road? Matters a lot. If they're hauling me off to hang me, I'm not in a hurry to arrive. Me? I'm glad to be sailing to a fear. I hear they got wild horses there. White with black stripes. Always wanted to see one of them. Sure they're not. Black horses with white stripes? Nay. Black horses with white stripes they got in Zangwabar. That I'm sure of. Listen, there was a young woman, a medic, red hair. They capture her too? Don't recall seeing anyone of the sort. You were alone. Good. Means she managed to flee. Hopefully made it home. Tried to break out yet? Bah. Used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be Maya Fury's, Rusty. Maya Fury's non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. Teach you something that time. Elkal! Oh, Rial. 
What's that mean? Told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. I talked to your captain. Alakal Sorkan! Galavat Kar Albata again! Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for that. Gilea Valar! Kar Varethaner! You'll be dead already. Revhag ne Aram e Kar! Dorgate ye Alami! We swore on our honor. How do I say? Take me to your captain. Falth Alache ul Egulat. What? El Kal! Vileth. Vileth. Alche ul Egulat. El Kal. Inkal avr ikel ugeherev ul vita. What just happened? What did he say? He said to sit quiet, and that you'll hang in two weeks. Great. Give it a rest. No point talking to that lot. All you get's angry gurgles. They puff up, you notice? Like oh, them fish. What's it they're called? There anyone here who speaks common? Ah, oh, there's this mercenary with him. Looks Adernian to me. He's the one recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh! And the mage, what leads them, knows a bit. Heard him talking. But I doubt either will talk to you. Uh, I was you. Catch some shut eye. Not go on flapping my tongue. I've got a long voyage ahead. Sleep's not what I need. Someone I can actually communicate with. That's what I want. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? Remember, we met in White Orchard. Your Haunter Odin, known also as Master Mirror. I helped you find your Yennefer. We meet again, and it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. That is, if this slot doesn't kill you first. Get in here. Long story, a bit boring. I prefer to focus on something more useful, like getting you off this ship. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. But what on earth could you? Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you, Geralt. But before I do, I must know you return the favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, meet the willows near the village of Yantra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. Ah! Ah! What's that? A mark to show we're associates. Who are you gabbing with? With no one. Oh, never like moats. Not one bit. I hate like devils. Make me stomach churn. Oh. It'd be primed to sleep through the whole thing. Didn't bargain for no storm, I fear that means a tidy jump in my feet. To a fear get us safe. The king's reward will be generous. What about the prisoner? Before the king, we must bring him. On doing so, my honor relies. Can we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like we do with the other? The other drop. We could do nothing. We deliver lie this one. Apart from all else, the hell the king is sure to condemn him to. I used to see. What kind of hell? Barring, slaying, and watering. 
the hell in his eye. Ought to use it.
Not your lucky day. Come on, Roach. Leading our lasses astray, scum. Mummy? Can trees walk? Don't be foolish, of course they can't. But me and Sophie saw one that did, and it had horns, like a deer. Wow. Where'd you see this tree? Tell me. In the woods right out of town.
I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay debts of gratitude. Humans, elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess, you're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell you now. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this'll interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. How do you know we'd met, and that I'm not exactly thrilled with him now? Please, Geralt. I knew the Ophiri had captured you. Was I not to know how this had come to pass? Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake, I've many interesting wares on offer. Wares like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Agile as never before, your mind faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, I offer a great and true adventure. An experience like no other, the fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. It was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. Old Geard appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail, his shirt mothy. Seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me, sends me off when I dare ask for payment, even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. 
Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Allgeard owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Mm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm -hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Holgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us, yet we won't know what they are until we see him. Fine. I'll go see Olgeard with you, but no promises. That is all. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. Stuff to the rafters. Fear I'll slide off my The sandwich. devil walk a crooked path, his heart a full of ire. No soul would let him. Well, look who's here. The witch you with a stick up his ass. What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a fairy pox. Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags home with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got to be carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's all geared? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ain't with yous! Drank with yous! Fought beside yous! Did you kill me now? I'm one of yous! You might have been, but not no more, you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Tell you what's gonna happen now. I'll ask again. Polite-like, and you'll answer just as politely. And if I don't? Then I'll get angry, stop talking, and slaughter you all like swine. So what'll it be? 
Am I gonna hear why you wanna take his head, or not? Aren't you a thorny prick up the arse? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer. Happy? Now piss off. We've work to do. No, you don't. Let him go. Oh, this is bloody rich. Can't plow and believe me ears. You switch your brains with your cock or something, get your mutant with your ass out of here. Or... Or I'll kill you! Go ahead. Try. Whoa, whoa. What the bloody hell is this? Geralt, have you decided to play defender of the downtrodden? More like gutter of sons of bitches. Long as I'm here, you'll gut no one. That a challenge? Why not? I've not fought a witcher before. Defeat me and I shall let him go. Stand aside. Would you wait, sir, for the dribble to subside? Makes no difference to me. Stunt and fight. Time to fight, guys. Men are better man. Struck, Witcher. You win. But perhaps you'd care to tell me why you meddled in a matter not yours. I wanted to prevent for the bloodshed. Well, well. The Witcher with the heart of gold. Unsavory as it seems, there is a silver light. At least you now know I don't easily lose my head. Release him. Getting off cheap, mate. Really necessary, that whole show? Ah, show? Come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. Know what this is? I cannot be certain. But I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest your wish be granted. 
but there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little could hurt you. So you take wild risks, chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all, and all seems boring and monotonous. The trick's to plow through that moment, go further, reach beyond what's known as possible. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If it was left uncharred, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gone to road did. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must grant you three requests by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Odrigan. Not so fast. Haven't agreed to anything yet. But you'll do it. Of that I'm certain. Did you know Orgird was the one to turn the Ophiri prince into a toad? Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. Orgird once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the crown prince of Ophir. Orgird grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life in a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, Odin, who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Come. Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. This thing between you and Master Mirror, your quarrel, really rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him until you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never complete them. Not if you go mad trying. But try your best, and your debt shall be absolved. While I shall live in peace until Master Mirror finds another aide de camp. What he said about the prince, that true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps, or perhaps the Afiri Dofa ate something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah, uh, I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollowed the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. Could have told me the truth about the toad, having a bit of fun at my expense. I simply wanted the beast dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I must admit, when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? He was a human being. That bloody Afiri Mott was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. 
Bring me the house of Maximilian Bosodi. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses? You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch! Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mount always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him, and show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine, seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then, we shall speak of the third. Any hints? Where I should go, how I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. The brother shouldn't be too hard, but the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. You waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgierd's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet, nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. Borsodi's house. No idea how I'm supposed to bring him that. Hmm. The only Borsodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenfurt. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Olgierd's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Uh, never agreed to necromancy. The necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Sides. I'd need the blood of the summoned. Blood. True. Of the summoned? Not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt, 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 aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von Everett blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The Von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. Can't wait. Say I need help. Where'll I find you? I shall find you. Good luck, Geralt. <laughs> 